Welcome. So, yesterday, we left old Joe kind of hanging, didn't we? And right in a mid-amygdala hijack. To reiterate, Joe was giving a big presentation. Just as he got started, his boss cut in and said one of the data points was clearly incorrect. Totally broke his flow. He started to lose it. And what's Joe supposed to do? His mind was racing. His heart was pounding. His face was a little flushed. And there were flashes of frustration, self-blame, maybe anger going through his head. Now, if Joe has awareness of what's happening to him right now, he can take action to calm the rush of emotions and calm his amygdala. This is called self-regulation. When we regulate ourselves, we're bringing our prefrontal cortex, the cognitive area of the brain, into action to tone down the amygdala. For example, when our child trips and spills a glass of milk on the floor, we use our prefrontal cortex to hold back the urge to yell at her. Our prefrontal cortex allows us to take a more rational approach because our rational mind knows it's just an accident. With practice of this next exercise, we'll be able to respond more effectively to these instances and maybe help Joe. So, when we feel an emotional trigger, the first thing to do is stop. Stop what you're doing. Do not react for just a split second. Honestly, if this is all you do, it's a huge step in the right direction. The second step is to breathe. One breath bringing your attention to it, even just for one breath, helps settle your mind on something neutral. And deep breaths also activate the parasympathetic nervous system, calming your body as well as your mind. So let's try this. If you'd like, put your hand on your chest or on your belly. Take a deep breath in and slowly out. Feel your hand moving with your body, pushing up, and down. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let's do two or three more. The next step while we're in this mode is to notice. Notice is anything different in your body now? Your neck and shoulders more relaxed perhaps? little less tension? Has the temperature of your body changed? Has the sense of urgency that you had when you first felt the emotion changed? Just notice what's happening in your body right now. So these three first steps, stop, breathe, and notice, help settle your body and your mind and get you in a place where your rational part of your brain can be more in the forefront Now, the next step is to reflect and create context for what's going on. In Joe's case, is there history that causes this reaction? Is there some self-perceived inadequacy or fear of failure, fear of getting fired? Are there expectations or hope that are involved in the emotions that he's feeling? Is that adding fuel to the flame? Take a moment to look from the other person's perspective. Let's say maybe you're having an argument or in the case of his boss, what is his motivation? Without judging or condoning their behavior, acknowledge that just like you, everyone wants to be happy. And whatever they do, they do because they feel it will help them in some way. Now, without judging that feeling and saying whether it's right or wrong, Just recognize this perspective on what's happening right now from both sides. Just recognize and allow it to exist. The last step is to respond. How could you respond in the wisest, kindest, and most effective way? You don't need to do it, but think of what is right for you as a human, as your your own self. Now you're in a position to decide what to do next from a place of awareness. So to reiterate, we stop, breathe, notice, 
reflect, and respond. We call this SBNRR for short. It's an extremely simple process, but I'm sure if you're already thinking, poor Joe, he can't do all of that while he's on stage in front of the board, you're right. It takes some practice with this to be able to do it with one breath under pressure. I suggest that you practice this when you have something a little less urgent, like maybe that spilled glass of milk, or you may have had an argument with a friend. Later, when you have time and everything's calm, put yourself in a space where you can have a moment to think. Bring those feelings back up as we did yesterday and practice SBNRR by yourself. Take each step slowly and see how you feel when you reach the end. Over time, you develop this muscle as a skill to do all or part of this practice when you feel an emotional trigger coming on. And remember, if you don't do anything else, when you feel triggered, stop, take a breath, and then move forward. This is a really simple practice, but it's not as simple as it seems because you really have to practice it a lot in order to be able to do it when you need it. And that's one of the truths about mindfulness that people forget. They think that you know, if they do a little meditation here and they read some books, that they're going to be mindful and they're going to be able to respond more effectively. And you probably are to some extent. But to be really mindful and to do it on a regular basis, you need to practice. And it's often better to practice when you're not in the middle of a crisis, isn't it? I hope this lesson was helpful to you. And I'm looking forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Thank you.